Victoria has a large, foresty and mountainous area here in the east. Most people know railways hate steep inclines, and Victoria's railways are no different. But one of the lines to make it through the hilly and steep eastern bit is the Orwas Line. In this video, we will be covering this part of the Orwas Line, and its history, closure, branch lines, rolling stock, services, where it is today, and will services resume. History The line from Bansdale to Orbost was extremely costly to build. Fortunately, Victorian railways allowed for it to be built, at a major cost to the taxpayer, and it was opened to the general public in 1916. The Orbost line slivered its way through the rolling valleys and dense forests of East Gippsland. It was mainly used to transport timber and produce. A passenger service was provided, but they quickly ceased, as I assume it is because there are way too many people in the towns along the line. The line was built with a number of trestles to tackle the steep inclines, and a lot still survive today. The largest of the trestles is the Stony Creek Trestle, which is a staggering 276 meters long and 19 meters high. Local residents campaigned for the Orbos line to be extended to Bombala, New South Wales which is a distance of around 162 kilometers. The rail line was built with nine stations, with none being added or closed until 1987, when the line was shut down. Closure Regular passenger services ceased in the 1930s, but the railway stations were still open to give an infrequent ride to passengers. It wasn't until the whole line was closed in the 1980s until the stations were closed. The line was closed due to a lack of people in the area and the diminishing timber industry. In 1994, all signals and signal boxes were demolished. Branch Lines There have been two branch lines proposed for the Orbos line, an extension of the Orbos line to Bombala, New South Wales in the 1930s, but would run parallel to the Monaro Highway, and you can still see the land reserve today. The other is the Lakes Entrance Line, which would have come off the Orbos Line at either Nicholson or Noah Noah. The line from Nicholson would go via Swan Reach, then Matung, and finally Lakes Entrance, while the line from Noah Noah would go via Turillo Arm. Rolling Stock Before dieselization, D3 and NK class locomotives would be used to serve the line. After dieselization, and until its eventual demise, the line would be served by T and Y class diesels. Currently, the line would be served by cyclists and your average rail trail walker. The passenger services would be run by rail motors until 1930. 30 timber wagons were specially built to be used on the Orbos line. Services For the entirety of the Orbos line's lifespan, services ran daily, and timber trains ran every week. Where is it today? Today the Orbos line mostly survives as the East Gippsland Rail Trail, although following a slightly different alignment in some parts. Everything else besides the alignment and trestle bridges have been removed though. Some platforms remain along the line but in poor shape. Will services resume? Services are extremely unlikely to resume due to the lack of population along the line and that a lot of the trestle bridges are really only good for pedestrian travel. And just like the Port Ferry line, I don't think the government is willing to get rid of a cycling route just to serve three towns which have a limited population. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked this video about the Orbos line. History on the railway stations will be uploaded as a short. If you have any suggestions on what line I should do next, then leave a comment below. I'm sorry if I mispronounce any locations in this video, and without further ado, I will see you in the next episode.